Listen, I really, really tried to do this with a proper camera. Like, I tried. I tried. And for some reason, it keeps shutting off. Also, I don't have a tripod, so that's a bit dangerous. And, you know, I don't want a certain man to kill me because this is a certain man's camera. Shout out to you. It's been two years. <laughs> I should pay you or something. Yeah, one day. What's poppin'? As you can see, I couldn't really use a camera because I'm not that elite and I do this by myself. So we're gonna use an iPhone, a couple good books, and a hairspray can to hold this joint up so we can get it poppin', poppin', poppin'. I wanna tell y'all a story about my basement. Okay, if you know me personally, um, and you've been to my house, you know that our basement was not finished, okay, for about 10 years since we, we moved in. But it was okay, you know, we dressed it up with carpets, we put some tapestry, my dad put his paintings up there, we put some of our old couches or old furniture down there. We had a good time. We had soccer in that basement, we watched movies in that basement, we cried in that basement, you know what I mean? Like, there's a lot of stuff that happened in that basement. But finally, earlier this year, my parents were like, it's time for us to finish the basement. So, we hired somebody and we got the work going. For every day for months, I would check in with the progress of the basement because I was very excited to, you know, see what was happening. I literally would check in every day and I promise you it felt like nothing had changed. The wood was up, plans were out, they kept cutting, I don't even know what they were doing. The wiring and da da da. It took months. It really felt like it took months. I, I could be wrong. Maybe I'm exaggerating. It took a long time. That's all you need to know. And I would check in with it every day and be like, when is this basement gonna be done? Like, I'm ready to pick the colors for the walls. I'm ready to pick the tiles, which I really didn't end up doing because I wasn't. Anyways. So yeah, I was like, when is this basement gonna be done? So I checked in every day and it felt like nothing was changing. And I kept asking my parents and our contractor, I was like, so what you doing today? And then it's like, oh, we're just wiring, oh, we're just doing the lighting, oh, we're just fixing the electricity and we're just gonna do this and that. And I was like, okay, cool, okay, cool. But literally no physical change to my eyes, right? Not to the carpenter, not to the contractor, not to the workers, but to me, someone checking in every day. I was like, I feel like they did nothing right fast forward a couple months later i wasn't checking in that frequently and i checked in and they got the walls up they got the drywall up they painted the room they installed all the appliances i was like this basement looks nice can i move in please like i was like yo this is nice and also i also was like why didn't you let me choose the tiles because that's like i'm not messing with it but like i could have helped you anyways besides the point i checked in and i was like basically done and i was like how did this happen so quickly and, da, 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 da. and i really thought about the progress of the whole project and i was like damn it took a really long time to work on the wiring and to work on the wood and all these like things that i don't really think about but are foundational in the building of the basement do you get what i'm saying over here if you don't yet what i'm trying to say is god needs to do a deep secret foundational rewiring work in you before he can dress you up okay and a lot of us want to be dressed up a lot of us want to look the part get to another season we all want to just be ready you know what i mean on the outside but god's like before any of that before people see you as any of that i gotta work on your heart i gotta work on your mind i gotta work on your countless issues i gotta work on this baggage that you buried for years you get what i'm saying that stuff takes for like almost forever to deal with and it's while you're in it in the process you're like this is too much this is taking forever and i feel very exposed and i feel like i'm not changing at all but trust me that is the most important part your foundation your base your rewiring god dealing with you one-on-one -on -one is the most important part so please do not skip that stage to be with the next to get to this you know what i mean like please do not skip this stage the more you resist it the more it's gonna pop up in your future yes okay so i gotta go but i just really wanted to remind you guys do not rush it sit through it this is a beautiful time for god to work in you and all the rest will be added on to you my love okay can i have some hogging bells no Anyway, so that's my story of the basement, and that's my story of the heart. So, ladies, 
gents, if gents watch this, um, do not resist the deep hard work God wants to do in you. I want to give you a scripture. It's actually 1 Samuel 16, 7. Um, this is right after God is telling Samuel the priest to anoint the king, uh, the new king. Saul is presently the king. So he goes to Jesse's house to anoint one of his sons. And Jesse lines up all of his great sons, oldest to youngest, beautiful, tall, handsome, bearded men. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Verse 7 goes like this. But the Lord said to Samuel, do not consider his appearance or his height, for I have rejected him. The Lord does not look at the things people look at. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Okay? God has been looking at your heart. And if he wants to work with it, let him work with it. You know, let the Lord do the work that he's trying to do in you. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'll catch y'all later. I really need to go. Um, but yeah, be blessed, bro.